comes school out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> The early parts of the week, uh, particularly after weekend games, tech staff always come in. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're probably based at St George's Park, and then Thursday, Friday is then is then preparing for the weekend. So probably three days a week in here, and uh, probably in this office for 24 hours a day of them three days, uh, having meetings and, and discussions. Seems like yesterday we were just flying home from France and being part of something really special. It's first time we've done a press conference to launch a squad. I think it shows how how much interest we've got and uh, the players already know the squad and uh, so speaking to some of the new uh, additions last night was uh, was a nice moment. One of the highlights of the job is when you ring a player for the first time to tell them that they're being picked for England. I think people take it for granted really that, that when when, when I was a player, I used to prepare for games, rest, recover, stretch, whatever. Going into a press conference for me is every bit as important as preparing the team because the, the messages that I'm going to say in about an hour's time will be read by my players, by the people within the FA and by our opponents. And it's important that we get the right messages across. And I think the biggest message is, is probably to our supporters because they, they want to know what's happening with the Lionesses. Well, I, I do enjoy doing them, uh, I prepare really well for them. Uh, I've got to say they don't always go to plan because you never know really what they're going to ask you. I do study the top managers doing press conferences because I think, I think it's, it's, it's definitely a skill, it's an art. Sometimes I don't always get across the messages that I want uh, and I'll always look back on, on, on the press conference, the press cuttings because the FA send them to me. And, and I always like to be strategic in the, in the messages that I like to send because I know the, the, the thing is, is that my players read every single word that I say and they listen to every single, single word that I say in these press conferences because they always refer back to you said in the press conference the other day. So I realise that uh, the press conferences are very, very important because we've got to, we've got to send messages out there to our fans and, and to my players and to the opposition. To play in the Euros in 2021, we'll have to earn every single minute that they get on that field. Since coming back from the World Cup, we now need to look at the two-year plan. And, uh, and Beth and Aoife, who's been fan fantastic for, for Birmingham as well, uh, deserve their opportunities. We now need to see them train with this group of players and see what they're like with the intensity of England in and around the camp. And hopefully they'll learn their part uh, to hopefully make their England debuts. That, that, that is the, that's the challenge for Beth and Aoife. Sandy and Ellie were the ones that went to the, uh, the World Cup with the under 20s. She was the goalkeeper of the tournament, so Sandy and Ellie are going to be a big part of our future. There's going to be probably two younger players coming to most camps now for the next two years. We need to give them that taste of the international environment and we need to see what they've got. Three, two. Rest of the day, uh, catching up with, with one or two players. We've got, uh, we've got Tony Duggan, we've got Lucy Bronze, uh, Nikita, Alex all playing abroad, all coming back from America on a pre-season tour, so I, I need to catch up with them today. Need to see how they are. Preparing for camp, preparing the sessions, we always have a welcome meeting, so that's that's a big meeting where where I've got to deliver to, to the, the staff and the players. And uh, so I'm preparing that today and then going home tonight and uh, looking forward to joining up on Sunday.